Hi everybody, a subscriber asked me recently, how long does it take to train a rescue dog? And chatting to the subscriber named Lisette, I realized she had a company called Doggy Lottery, which looks absolutely amazing. It's a chance to win money and 60% of the takings actually goes to dog charities. So if you find that interesting or you're curious, I'll leave a link to her company in the description box down below. So how long does it take to train a rescue dog? Well, it depends on three variables. And just to remind you now, if you're looking for a rescue dog, please note there are so many without behavioral problems and I'm constantly looking at the internet and looking on different websites and rescue centers to see the dogs without any behavioral problems. So don't let that put you off. But if you have got a rescue dog, how long it takes depends on three variables. And the first variable is how skilled you are as a trainer. So how skilled you are as a, an owner. So if you pick up on every single one of your dog's problem behaviors, and if you see every time they look a little bit upset or, or a little bit curious or anxious, and you know exactly what to do, then you're gonna be able to pick up on it and communicate to them very clearly. Whereas if you don't see the nuances or the subtleties in the behavior, then it's gonna take a lot longer. So for example, every time Dante was a little bit upset, I would pick up on any one of his concerns and I'd get in there straight away. And as a result, it stopped it escalating a lot of the times. But if you don't pick up on these subtleties at the beginning, it's gonna take a long time for your dog to completely trust you. And when it comes to communication, uh, because of that, when Dante got a little bit upset, for example, I remember one time he was playing with another dog and you could see in his language, he wasn't particularly comfortable. And he was doing a little bit of backing off and he wasn't sure. And then when I just reassured him, it's all right, he came over and came behind me. So whatever skill level you are at, the more books you read, the more you watch, you'll get your skill level better in order to train your dog quicker. The second variable is your environment. So what environment are you training your dog in? So if you've got an environment that's a little bit chaotic, for example, like in busy London, where it's full of cars and traffic and the dog's scared of too much stimuli, then it's gonna take a lot longer than if you're in the countryside where you can gradually add stimuli to the dog's nurture and take them through it bit by bit by bit. If you throw them in the deep end, a lot of them sink and then they get conditioned to be wound up and conditioned to be stressed. And then every time you take them out, they'll just be stressed altogether. And a third variable is how deep rooted the problem behaviors are. So I've got two rescues with me at the moment, Rex and Dante. And Rex took me about six, seven months to address his behavior and he was also reactive. He pulled on the lead, we'd let him off, he wouldn't come back, he would chase squirrels. And it took about seven months to get him to the point he was absolutely perfect. Dante, I've been working with him for about nine months and now he's not barking or lunging at any dogs. Uh, he's not pulling on the lead. He comes back when I call him, um, but he's still not 100% there. So I actually genuinely believe it's gonna take me another few months. However, I do have to give him back very soon. So that's gonna raise another question for another video. Does residential dog training work? Like does me training Dante pass on to the owner? And we've got a couple of problems which we have to face is one, the owner obviously is not quite as skilled as me when it comes to training dogs. And second, the London environment is slightly busier as well. So I am expecting to regress, but obviously I will work with her and keep showing her what to do with Dante and hopefully it will get better. So if you do have a problem dog and you've rescued him and you've got issues, also keep at the forefront of your mind, whatever his past was, He's doing so much better now he's with you because he's got affection, he's got play, he's got kindness, he's got food, he's got reliability. So please don't worry too much. Just keep at the forefront of your mind, you've done an amazing thing for him. But just keep pushing away at those three variables. Keep trying to improve your skill level. Keep alterating the environment you're at so you're in order to take him through those stages of his nurture bit by bit by bit and also, you know, and keep showing him what he should be doing and keep working on his behavioral problems, how deep rooted they are. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please press the like button and also subscribe to see my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.